Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Maggie of maggiesbliss.com and we are here for our Tuesday Oracle card reading. Energies all around reading. Um, the two decks that I'm working with, just to show you really fast, Divine Feminine, wonderful, um, and the Sacred Earth Oracle. So I had two or three completely different decks that I was gonna use and then it kept switching on me and I was like, all right, let's make up our minds here. Which deck is the right one to use? So it's it's sticking. So we're, we're using those two decks. Um, so we're gonna start with, actually we're gonna start with um, Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> we know Mercury Retrograde is happening right now. It's uh, started yesterday. Uh, so it usually lasts about three weeks. Um, and it happens three to four times a year. Um, in my conversion of my website, I have an article that I wrote about it. Um, I just looked because I, I was I was for sure thinking that I had the Mercury Retrograde information on my site, but I forgot to bring it over. It's it's in a Word document. So I'm gonna bring it over <laughs> sometime in the, today or the next few days so and share that with you guys just to help bring clarity and Mercury Retrograde for you guys. Uh, Mercury Retrograde, Virgo and Gemini. Uh, are the signs that this planet um, rules, as they say. Uh, it uh, Mercury, 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 Mer the planet Mercury uh, goes for Gemini in communication and Virgo in its analytical skills. Uh, so it's one of the few planets that rules two signs. So <clears throat> and now that it's retrograde, it is going in its reverse direction and that anytime any planet is is retrograde it in your chart or just like right now when it happens right now right in general things um occur and it gives us the opportunity to reevaluate things that are within that the capacity of why that plan what that planet's doing right and to us in that sign so virgo gemini's tend to feel it more but really, it just depends on where you are in your process. Mercury retrograde is the communication planet, so it may mess with, hi, Kenny. It may mess with some of the things that are going, like your electronics, cars sometimes. I know I just had to like fix the compression thingy in my AC unit. Remember feng shui, you know, I'm all about feng shui. Uh, what is within is through, without, as above, so below, as within, so without. So what you're experiencing within is gonna affect, affect especially your home and your car, especially if you're like the only owner, right? So if you have two owners, then maybe you'll get mixed messages from your car. <laughs> but there are metaphors and lessons to be learned. So, um, and then usually it often messes with your computer and especially, it's not a good time in Mercury Retrograde to be working on contracts uh, of any kind. But if you must, if you have no choice, fine tooth comb, reread it, and then read it again. Triple check, double, quadruple check, right? Everything if you must do contracts during Mercury Retrograde. So just be careful. But what I find and what um, some of my friends find is it's very productive time. You get a lot done. A lot of things that you either procrastinated on or just really weren't aware of, things come to light. Uh, during Mercury retrograde to be handled, to be um, worked on and worked through. So um, that's your little quick hitter for Mercury retrograde. That's what's happening right now. So we are going to be feeling that. And, and so more immediately, these um, energies are felt. And uh, what's, what is happening right now, there, there seems to be some Whew, some things going on in the field. Um, a lot of weirdness um, going on in the field. Some obviously confusion with regard to Mercury retrograde. It's the communication planet too. So you're trying to understand things. You're in your head. Uh, but try your best um, to be discerning um, right now. So the first card I pulled from the Sacred Earth Oracle. It, and here's the back of the deck. Really cool. Love it. Um, the first card I pulled is dependability. Whew, isn't that just pretty? I love it. 
Dependability. So this card is telling you, you must have discernment. You know, you already know, the kicker is you already know. You know what is reliable, what is true, and what is already established. And since Mercury retrograde and the times right now are kind of like in a little bit of an upheaval sort of a way, right? It's shaking the snow globe a bit. But we're having the, sh the shaking of the snow globe a lot in the coming um months too so we have to like take the moments as they come step by step so um try not and and these two cards that i pulled right so i'll tell you about that one in a second both say watch falsehoods don't be tricked by something that looks too good to be true right if it looks too good to be true hi sam if it looks too good to be true it probably go back, especially during Mercury Retrograde, just go back, reevaluate everything. Find what feels true to you for you. Your soul always knows the truth. You know the truth. If something's like off, mm, mm -mm. <laughs> just don't go there. Okay, so that again is for this revolution card. The name itself is kind of tricky to me because this card is telling you not to compare yourself to other people, other situations. Your process is your process. You are in your, like there's a season for everything, right? So now we're in shadow land and we're honoring here, like in the Northeast, we honor four different seasons. Um, in Europe, they might only compare wet to dry seasons, right? In um, Aus Northern Australia and t Tiki, t oh my gosh, oh my God, I had the word, T-I, Tiwi? <laughs> That island, Northern Australia, they have 13 seasons that they honor. 13 again, do I have feminine? Um, so these 13 seasons um, are something to think about and the four seasons and the two. Our body and our rhythms have, have a season. Yes, we align to nature and we're part of nature. We are part of all of this collective and uh, personally, our soul has a season for everything. Where someone might be have completed something and they're on to the next step, you might just be beginning that a step that's similar and feel like, oh, I should be there. There, there. We're the same age or we're the same gender or we're the same this, we're this. We should be the same, but it's not true. You're a unique soul. You are wise, you are important, and you are an important part of this collective. And it's important for you to be in the seasons that you are right now. So allow yourself to be in those seasons, right? So where are you now? And, and, and as a collective, we are heading into shadow land in the Northeast, and they're heading into light in the Southern Hemisphere. So key in the Northern Hemisphere is, you know, heading into, you know, the end of the year where we have autumn, I love autumn, and winter, and we do a little more shadow work. But right now, the collective as a whole and the entire planet is working on, hi Shannon, good morning. Um, the entire collective is doing shadow work right now because of what's happening, this upheaval. The earth is shaking and awakening, and it's moving and grooving, and we're a part of the moving and grooving, and we need to tune into that because our souls are wise and we have these truths so the first card oh my god where did I put it dependability is saying remember look at what has already been true don't be tricked by something that looks too good to be true or looks really really great in the immediate because it's it you need to fall back on reliability especially right now in the next week right and also always going back to your inner truth and don't compare yourself final card is an activation card this is the intention i set on it for us in this collective energies i needed to know who was coming through divine feminine deck back of the card um and guess who came through Kuan Yin, goddess of compassion. And this card says, I recognize suffering in order to release it. Curiosity breeds compassion. So, not only is Kuan Yin, goddess of compassion, here and bearing witness to the suffering, she hears the soul's cries. She comes and she is here to 
show you compassion and to give you the compassion you need, especially when you're unable to receive it from other people. Um, and also to remind you to do the same for others. So there is going, there's a lot of suffering going on and there's going to be more. And especially in, go, heading into Samhain where the veil is the thinnest, um, a lot more souls leave. The veil is the thinnest and a lot more souls in, in October happens to be the highest suicide month in the entire year and that's unfortunate. It's the veil is thin and the souls are hearing the call to the other side. <clears throat> So what souls who are suffering need is a lot of this, a lot of compassion. See if you can bear witness. They don't necessarily need you to fix anything. They just need your presence, those people that are suffering, right? And I'm here and I'm here and I see you and you have my attention, right? And I'm here sending you love and light, right? And here, goddess of compassion, love is the truth. So when you're not able to discern, where's that card? What is true, what is dependable, fall into your heart center because the truth is felt here within your soul. You can find truth here. Always the most reliable essence and energy is love. It's always going to be there. Love going in. Um, but she is here, it's an activation card so that she is, telling you and it's and 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 I've been attuned to one of the beautiful um magnified healing Kuan Yin is the goddess who brought that to us and I attune other people to that as well it's a beautiful powerful loving awakening ascension uh, energy but goddess of compassion is here and she's sending you love and if you call out to her, she'll come. She's just here to bear witness, but she's also here to send love. She's here to ease your suffering. That's what her higher calling is. So call her in and allow that energy to just come in. Just focus on the brightness of this card, the light of this card, the love of this card, the pinks, the reds, the heart center. And she, she is telling you, yes, that. <laughs> um, so focus on that, focus on truth. So what also came in is there's some some toxicity going on right now. And, and I'm looking at my notes so that I remember what I have to say here. And you must, you must, must, must use your discernment as the, the cards have been saying all along. Use discernment, check in with your intuition always. No one person is the same. What's right for you may not be right for someone else and vice versa. So that comes back to that comparison card. Don't compare yourself to other people. Other people are gonna try to tell you. Mass consciousness, don't listen to mass consciousness. You must listen to your truth first. Only you know your truth at the soul level and what you came to experience. So only you know what your body will allow in and what you're meant to experience in your body. Don't take in toxins that other people say you should have if you're not meant to have it. You'll feel it here, not here. Go Drop it here. <laughs> And you'll know, you'll know and you'll feel it and say, that's so right for me. Or you'll know and say, whoa, not right for me. Don't do it. Don't be tricked because that's what's happening right now. There's some, some toxic fluid going around. Don't be tricked. And this also falls into your diet. There's a lot of um, uh, prepackaged foods, so much crap in it that hurts our body. Try to be discerning with what you're putting into your body with regard to food, fluids, everything. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so it's all about listening to your truth. So many people are going to have, and especially mass conscious, is going to have this, this uh, opinion and this huge, and, and they will backlash on you if you disagree with them, and that's not the way to go. It's higher light, higher love. The way to go is... Listen to your truth. Allow others to listen to their truth. If they disagree with you, that's okay. If you disagree with them, that's okay. You must honor your truth. No one can know your truth. Only you know it 100%. So listen. Um, so hopefully I've driven my points home today. I hope this resonated with you. Um, and again, even with what I'm saying, listen to your truth. What rings true for you? Do that. Always take what rings true and leave the rest. 
Hope you have an amazing rest of your Tuesday. Take Quan with you on your journey and the angels and your team. They want you to call on them because they will ease your pain and suffering. They will guide you. They will help you. If you call on them, our free will says we they can't really intervene as much as they want to. They can guide, but they can't intervene unless we call on them. So say, my highest and best good for love and light always. You know, the highest and best good of all always. I call you in. Please help me with dot, dot, dot. And please help me with peace, with love, with feeling compassion, with discerning what's true and right for my body, etc. Um, so <laughs> there you have it. Have an amazing rest of your Tuesday. I'll see you on Thursday for our Soul Coaching Mini. Blessed be.